welcome to our channel here at David Christopher's. My name is Jennifer. I'm David. And we're the owners of a couple of small businesses. We have a wholesale import company where we sell to retailers nationwide. And we also have a retail store located in North Alabama. And we come to you to bring you exciting tips on decorating for Christmas time. And David has a special treat for you today. Tell us about it. So today we're going to kind of do a continuation of our candy themes, which is a brighter, bolder color. But today I want to focus more on the how-to rather than just the, hey, we decorated a tree. So I'm going to try and give you a few tips and tricks on how I decorate trees, uh, especially this flock tree uh, is the one we're going to decorate today. Yay! And remember, all the items that you're going to see in today's video, like these guys, Exactly. <laughs> he thought I was going to dump them out. Woo! Yes, I did. Uh, they can be found on our website, davidchristophers.com. So everything you see in our videos can be found on our website. So check us out. This tree is our new uh, flocked Alaskan tree. Um, it actually has many rice lights on it. These are like a five millimeter LED, I think. And those are great because we can actually get thousands of lights on this tree as opposed to if they were standard lights. And they have multifunction features, so you can change them to white. They come with a, uh, a box, a remote, a foot pedal, and it is an easy connect tree. So all you gotta do is uh, plug it up and then connect each section to each other and it is plugged up for you. But it does do multicolor, it does do white, it does lots of different things. It will flash back and forth, blink, chase, um, all kinds of different things. But for this, I'm actually going to leave it in a fading back and forth pattern. For this tree, like I said, we're going with brighter, bolder colors, and what we're going to use now is our iridescent watercolor ribbon and this uh, this bright pink ombre glitter ribbon. And I'm going to show you how to put that in the tree now. Okay. So instead of tying a traditional bow, I'm just going to make a couple of loops here and use my tree to wire that into place. And just twist that on. And I'm ready to weave my ribbon through the tree. For this, I'll just kind of drop down about six inches back and forth, separate my ribbon back out, and then I'm going to go back the other direction, go in about six or inches or so, and tuck back in. Keep going this direction, tuck on that side, and I'll come back the opposite direction. And we'll just keep going from there. I'm going to use uh, most of this 10 yard roll of ribbon for each of these to do about half the tree. The important thing to remember is there's one side like on this watercolor ribbon that is the iridescent side that you want to see and the other side is just the backing of the fabric and we want to make sure and keep that side that we want to see facing the front. The ribbon that he's using that is the iridescent 
ribbon, watercolor iridescent ribbon, is $27.99 retail. And it comes on a 10 yard roll. And this is wired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all of our ribbon for the most part is wired, yeah. which helps. And the hot pink ribbon that he's using is a two and a half inch by 10 yard roll of pink ombre. And you can see the pretty little frosted side of it. So I'll let you get back to work with that. <laughs> he leaves the ribbon attached to the roll as he's adding it and just lets the spool fall into the floor and roll around until he's done with it. And then he cuts it off. Pretty much. So these are one of my favorite items this year. Uh, this is a glass, we call them glass either, foam mercury glass. Uh, mixed size balls in a box. We've got a large size and a smaller size. Uh, the smaller size is a 36 pack for $19.99 and the larger size is a 24 pack for $37.99. But I'm going to show you how to make some ornament clusters to put on the tree. To make these ornament clusters, I'm gonna start by using some of my larger ornaments and adding a wire like this. And then really you can just layer different colors on either side and just stack using some of the smaller ones also because those work really well to fill in some of the gaps that you get by adding the large ones together. Push those all the way down to the end. And then we've got a little cluster that we can use in our tree instead of adding a million tiny ornaments and we'll just lay these on the branches. Once I've laid it in there, I'll use my wire to attach it to one of the pieces of pine on the tree and twist it on. Occasionally, when you get an ornament out, especially out of some of these tubes, you see an open side on one side and they have painted closed the other side. And really, you can just take something and finish poking your hole all the way through so you can use that correctly. David is about to add some of our sugar frosted shiny balls. These are 150 millimeters and all of our balls, a lot of them look like glass, but they are actually plastic and for the most part shatterproof. Now, if you throw this from the top of the roof onto concrete, it might break, but if you're just standing here and you just lose your hands and you're like, ah, that's what's going to happen. Your ball is still good and ready to go on the tree. At this point, I've added about seven of the ornament clusters that we've made eight of these 150 millimeter raspberry uh, sugar frosted balls and I think about 10 of the 100 millimeter four inch size of the frosted ball and as you can see I've got a lot of ornaments in the tree I'm going to add a few more this tree is going to be mostly ornaments and very little stems and sprays and I know that's a question several people have had is uh, use a lot of sprays and stems versus ornaments it really just depends on the tree 
This one's going to be mostly ornaments because I really want to let my tree shine and come through because it's such a, a beautiful tree with that flock style and the mini rag slides. And then at the same time, I don't have to add my stems first. I can do all my ornaments and add my stems after. So now I'm going to add these reflector style cat's eye ornaments. And uh, these are an assortment turquoise and hot pink. And these are plastic, as most of our ornaments are. And they have this silver thread attached to them. So I know a lot of you are going to cut that off and buy some of those little S hooks that you can buy at the store and add that to your tree so that it hangs. And I'm gonna show you a better way to do that. We actually pay more at the factory to add these little strings to these ornaments most of the time. And the reason that we do that is because I will take the string, place it on my tree, go back about two inches, and then I'm gonna wrap until I feel like it's secure and it's gonna stay exactly where I want it. And that's very important especially on these reflector balls, because one, I don't want them turned this way because that's not the pretty side of the ball. I want them turned facing out, which is the way that you see the reflector on it. And that is the easiest way to get it to stay exactly where I want it. While David is working on getting some different things together for the tree, I want to show you one of our iridescent, or iridescent, I keep saying it the wrong way, magnolia leaf. When you get this in the package, this is what it's going to look like. However, your goal is to make it look more like this. So this comes packaged flat, and you are going to want to pull on the wires. All of this is wired. You can easily pull it apart and shape it. You can bend this part if you want to, to make it what you want it to look like. So we are not using all of these colors in this tree today, although I think that they would be very beautiful. Instead, David is going to use the orange color coral. He's correcting me offset, <laughs> but it is a beautiful coral color and that is going to look really nice in the tree. For this, I don't want a ton of this coral color showing. I just need a little bit of it. So I'm actually going to stick these pretty far back in the tree and just let a little bit show back in the middle. Peppermint Stripe Multicolor Candy Glitter Marshmallow Spray. And that's going to work really well with all the colors that we're already using in the tree. This is our curly stem that's glittered, with, has little, um, little balls that are glittered on the grass also. And this is just really whimsical and fun to add in, it's really simple and, and inexpensive.
So now we're going to add some of our iridescent wireframed poinsettias. And those look like this, but they're actually going to come to you like this. And you just need to bend those down a little bit so that you get the proper shape. One more finishing touch, our ice reflector ball and like a five or six inch, I think it's five and a half inch size um, that we're going to use in here. Thank you for joining us today for another episode at David Christopher's. If you like this video or just think we're goofy enough to watch again, you can always like our video, subscribe, uh, click the notification button, all those things that you're okay. supposed to do, and comment below. We'll see you later.